How to conduct a fire pump churn test? Conducting a churn test is easy and it only requires three simple steps. The first one is to inspect. We need to conduct basic inspection first before operating the pump. For this purpose, we need a weekly fire pump checklist. If you haven't got one yet, you might want to download our free maintenance book on our website. We will go through the basic inspections as outlined in the checklist. But most of them can be as simple like checking if the suction and discharge valves are open, if the water tank is full, and if there are no abnormal conditions that might affect the test. Our second step is to simulate. We need to simulate a pressure drop using the sensing line test valve assembly. We will open the sensing line test valve until the fire pump controller reach its cut-in pressure. Now that the fire pump is running, we need to observe for any abnormal condition. Our last step is wait for the duration to finish. Again, that's 10 minutes for electric-driven fire pumps and 30 minutes for engine-driven pumps. Once the duration is done, we simply need to press the button right here to end the test.